Martin. This is another Higher Things video short. The church first. Help your church members first. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you love what we're doing, passing on the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. It's this hand. I think I've got it this time. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about the gospel, keeps us a rolling. Bible study, Galatians 6, 10. So then, while we have time, or while there is time, let us do good to all. Especially, especially above all, malasta, to uh, the household of faith. First off, um, uh, this builds on last week's um, uh, don't give up on doing good. It's going to bear fruit in good due time. You know, if you feel like no good deed goes unpunished, don't fret. Maybe I can get uh, Sandra to put the, either it in the description or let's have her put it right there. Why not? Look at this guy over here. Nice catch. Now, those good deeds that you're not going to wear out for, while we have time, while we have time in the faith of Jesus, while we are alive, while this heart is beating, while we are nothing but given to by the Lord, while he's giving us salvation, let us do good to all. And Kairos is, is, is time um, while we have the time, the right time, the perfect time. He puts you in the perfect place at the perfect time to be the perfect gift-giving person from a gift-giving God who gave up his son for you. So while we have time, let's do good to everyone. But he doesn't stop there. And this is hugely important. Oh, wow. Whew. That was such a bad throw. While there is still time, let us do good to everyone. But not just everyone. Back in the back. Why not start... with the household of faith. We have this idea that sometimes the people out there are most important, the poor, the, 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 the infirm, the sick, out there. And we can like get so focused out there that we miss the ones we really should be helping first. You know, it's not as easy as it looks. Those of you who trash talk, the video editor that trashes talks, it's not as easy as it looks to not look and toss the dog a treat. That was even worse. That was bad. Inexcusable. In the bed. There we go. I want you to consider first, as a church, as a people, as someone helping someone else out, consider first those in the faith. Oikeus teis pisteus. Those of the household of faith, of the faith, the faith of Jesus, those who believe. Before you help anybody else, before you help all the different places that you want to help before you give your money to all the different places you want to give your money to. First and foremost, help the faith. Help those in the faith. Help those in the household of faith. And this isn't just a plug for higher things. Give today. This is also for everyone. First, the family of faith. First, the baptized. And if you don't agree with that because you think that everybody should be treated the same and everybody should be cared for equally, take it up with St. Paul. 
first the household of faith, before everyone gets the loving. You know, that was so bad. Before everyone gets the loving, before everybody gets help, before everyone gets those in need get help, first those who need loving, those who need help, and those who are in need in the faith of Jesus. Give them your attention first. And then when you have time, more time, after they're taken care of, then you can look outside. Understanding in the proper context of all of this that we should bear one, another, uh, one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Verse 2. But if you think yourself to be something when you're nothing, you should carry, you deceive yourself and you should carry your own burdens. And while you're doing that, help one another and don't get tired of helping one another. But first and foremost, help those in the family of God. They need your help. They need your love. They need a visit. They need to be picked up. And then whatever's left to others outside the faith. It's a, a shocking verse, verse 610. But it's what Paul says. You have been died for. Die for others. You have been loved. Love others. You have been cared for. Care for others. You have been mercied. Mercy others. First and foremost for all of that love, grace, mercy, and need and care. First those in the family of faith. Next week, we're going to start coming to the close. But this week, first the family of God. They need your help first. I'm Pastor George Borkhart and the Sleeping Thor. And this is